Welcome to the Britpart video series on using the Lynx Britpart Diagnostic Tool. In this video, we're going to have a look at reprogramming the two button key fob. This is a facility when you want to fit a new key fob into your security system. What is important with this special function is that you will need all the key fobs for your relevant vehicle so that you can program them all together. Make sure your diagnostic tool is on and lights are showing and you have enough battery power to safely run the interface device without it cutting out. In these tutorials we're using a professional smart battery charger. Ok so after plugging in and making sure that your connections are all there, fire up the software on your laptop. First thing you get is your warning, go through that and then click start. Wait for the interface device to communicate with the vehicle and you'll have to be patient with this. If you're finding that you're having problems with your connection, make sure the battery voltage is correct and you have enough power or make sure the leads are connected and then it should connect properly. Once through into the vehicle selection you can then select the vehicle you require. Large range of vehicles in the Land Rover range that have the two button key fob and this tutorial will cover all of them. However in this tutorial we'll be going for the Defender. So you'll be wanting to click on the icon first for the vehicle that's relevant to you and then getting into this menu go for security first. Click on the security device and then turn your ignition on. Take note that some operations can vary on this Lynx Britpart device however you need to turn the ignition on. Click through and it will communicate with the vehicle. Once you've established communication we can then go up to the top bar and look at special functions. Here we're looking at programming and transmitters. Select transmitters and then prompt it to tell it you wish to continue. Easy. Following the prompt on the screen it will tell you to press the transmitter unlock button 16 times on each of the key fobs or transmitters. Looking at the transmitter that will be the left hand button. Just to make sure check on your specific one you got. Press it 16 times. Once you've done that do the next key fob that you have and make sure that's done 16 times. Once you've done all of them, tell the interface device that you're finished and you're ready to check them. As I said earlier, you need to collect all the key fobs for the vehicle. Any that have not been reprogrammed will not work. 